Now in this problem, we're going to use the p-value method for writing out a conclusion about the claim. Now the p-value method we also use to see if we're going to reject the null hypothesis or fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now for this problem it says, assume a significance level of alpha equal to 0 0.01 and use the given information to complete parts A and B below. So the original claim, the mean pulse rate in beats per minute of a certain group of adult males is 74 beats per minute. The hypothesis test results in a p-value of 0 0.0746. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's write out what the original claim is. And then we can determine the null and alternative hypothesis. So original claim, mean pulse rate of adult males is 74 beats per minute. So we have mu is equal to 74. So then step two, what would be true if the original claim is false? Well, that would be mu is not equal to 74. So then null and alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis would be mu is equal to 74. Remember, always includes equal to. Alternative, take a look at steps one and two. It's the one that does not include the equal to symbol. So that would be in step two, which is mu is not equal to 74. So now when we're using the p-value method, we're going to compare our p-value to the significance level. We want to determine if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, or if, p, or if the p-value is greater than the significance level. So let's take a look, p-value, and we're comparing that to the significance level of alpha. So our alpha in this problem was given to us as 0 0.01, and then our p-value 0 0.0746, 0 0.0746. So we're going to compare these. <clears throat> so we're going to compare our decimals. First, you take a look at the first place value. We have zeros in both, so we can't make a conclusion yet. Take a look at the next one. Still zeros in both, so they're still equal. Can't compare them quite yet. Now if we take a look at the Next place value, I have a 7, and then for my significance level, I have a 1. So since 7 is bigger than 1, that means that 0 0.0746 is bigger than 0 0.01. So our p-value is greater than the significance level of alpha. So since our p-value is bigger than the significance level, that means we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So we fail to reject null hypothesis. If the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, that means that we reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, our p-value is bigger, so it means we fail to reject. So we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis, and that is because the p-value is bigger than alpha, greater than alpha. So it looks like answer choice A. Okay. And then without using technical terms, state a final conclusion that addresses their original claim. Which of the following is the correct conclusion? Well, we failed we failed to reject the null hypothesis, and then our original claim included equality. So what that means is that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim. So there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the mean pulse rate of the group of males is 74 beats per minute. 